It's such an amazing, weird old world out there. Who could even imagine some of the incredible pairings and lasting friendships that can be found with folk across different borders? Take a look at these extraordinary animals crossing over barriers to find amazing new buddies. From an ape writing books with a dog, to a baby monkey brought back to life by a bird, here are 15 unbelievable, unlikely animal friendships. Number 15. Soraya the Orangutan and Roscoe the Blue Tick Hound when a lost dog followed a group of people back to work at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in South Carolina, it would become the beginning of a beautiful and surprising friendship. The nature reserve workers took care of the hungry dog, feeding him and letting him stay at the nature reserve. The new visitor did cause a bit of a stir though with one particular resident. Soraya, the orangutan, took an immediate shine to the lost hound, offering a welcoming hug of friendship from the very first day. Oh, how adorable. The pair have become totally inseparable, spending all of their time together. From swimming to eating and playing, they just do it all. And now they even go to work together. A book's been published which follows the pair's cute and unexpected friendship. Roscoe and Soraya attend book signings together as well. The media will soon be making them into a blended couple name like Sarasco or Rosaya. And the paparazzi will probably be poking their lenses over the fences for an exclusive snap of the two. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. Today, we're looking at this crazy picture of a weasel hitching a ride on the woodpecker. Now, we need to ask ourselves, is this a little glimpse of a truly incredible friendship? Or is there something more sinister afoot? Is the weasel hanging on to the woodpecker to simply share a friendly ride, or is it up to no good? Weasels will attack animals that are much larger than themselves, so even a big old woodpecker isn't entirely out of the question for these tenacious little guys. What do you reckon? Did the weasel attack on that woodpecker and get the surprise of its life when the woodpecker took off? Or are we just witnessing a beautiful friendship? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag fancy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 14. Unexpected friendship between cat and dolphin. Well, my cat is aloof on that front, frankly. I think he hates me, my neighbor, my mailman, everyone. Probably even hates himself. What do you have to do to get a little bit of love around here? I feed him, take care of all of his needs, I'm always available to scratch him behind the ears. So why does he lie in wait to pounce at my ankles or barely even grace me with a glance? What more can I be? Well, I need to be more dolphin, it seems. And there it is, the oddest couple since the odd couple. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is in fact a cat that's rubbing noses with the dolphin. Weird. Although cats aren't usually big fans of water, this little kitty seems quite at home with the odd splash, even getting its paws wet, just to get a little bit closer to its buddy, the dolphin. The dolphin is equally smitten and can be seen enjoying a snuggle with the cat. They play and pat at each other quite comfortably, like old pals getting together for a catch up. It's beyond cute, to be fair. All together now. Ah. Number 13. Milo the dog and Bone Digger the lion. Ah, oh, this is about some of the animals in Joe Exotic's Oklahoma Zoo back in 2013. As everyone most likely knows how that ended up, it's a bit more worrying than it is cute. Anyway, let's take the story at face value because these animals may have well found comfort in each other during a mess of madness that was surrounding them. Milo is a cute 11 pound dachshund who spends his days hanging out with a 500 pound lion who goes by the not so cute name of Bone Digger. 
Despite the pair's vastly differing sizes and the fact that one of them could literally swallow the other one whole, they do seem to be extremely happy in each other's company. Bone Digger apparently has a bone disease that means that he's not as able-bodied as some other lions, and it may make the friendship that's forged between the beast and the pup even stronger, as he couldn't join in with the lions in their play. Introduced to Milo when he was still a cub, the mighty bone digger has grown into a huge maned lion. But the size of the guy never really bothered this little sausage dog. They can be seen snuggling up together, even licking each other, and not in a preparing to eat the dog sort of way either. So perhaps it's true, they do really seem to love each other. And that, my friends, is amazing. Number 12. Abandoned Monkey Who Has Found Love With A Pigeon Now, I hope you have a hanky at the ready, because this one brought a little bit of tears to my eyes. Although, gangsters don't cry, so I'll just stay Mr. Misty-Eyed. It was an island in China where a tiny little 12-week macaque monkey laid close to death, abandoned by its mother and all alone in the world. Oh, it's too much already. But wait a minute, the poor little monkey would be rescued and then quickly taken to an animal hospital. So he was taken good care of and nursed back to health, but he was just still so sad. It was heartbreaking. But then one day, a white pigeon arrives at the animal sanctuary and saves the little macaque from his loneliness. The sanctuary staff began to see the spirit return to the monkey as the friendship between the two would grow. They spent their days together, a source of familial comfort, and one of the cutest friendships between two most unlikely animals. So whatever works, I guess. Excuse me, I just I seem to have dust in my eyes. Number 11. The Baby Elephant Adopted by a Sheep Oh, for crying out loud, I don't even think I can take another sad abandoned baby story. It's just too much for me, but here we go. Thimba, the six-month-old baby elephant, was left alone when his mother died. He was then rescued by staff at a wildlife rehab center in South Africa. And this is where he would first meet Albert, the sheep. Their first meeting didn't exactly go brilliantly well. Thimba thundered into the sheep enclosure, excited and basically acting exactly as you'd expect a baby elephant in this situation amongst a herd of sheep. He chased them around a little bit, and Albert, being pretty sensible, ran and hid in the shelter for a while. So it happened that Thimba eventually calmed down and then went to investigate what old Albert was up to. And eventually, Albert came out to get a better look at the little elephant who had been so nosy and poking him with his trunk. The little elephant became so attached to the sheep that he wouldn't leave his side, and they went off exploring together. Ever since that day, the two animals have remained the best of friends and they're utterly inseparable. So it turns out that Albert rather fancies himself as an elephant. It shouldn't work, but it kinda does. Number 10. Lonely Chicken Gladys Finds Her Soulmate, Snowy the Farmhouse Cat After a deadly fox attack, Gladys, the bantam chicken, would be the only survivor of the coop. Her owners then brought her into the farmhouse to take care of her. The then little chick was small and vulnerable, needing lots of care without the rest of the chicken brood to look after her. Gladys would then find a most unlikely friend in a big white farm cat named Snowy. In another life, this feline would have probably had quite different ideas for the fluffy little bird, but Snowy immediately took to Gladys and put her under his protection. This little bird had been through quite enough and needed a friend, and that's exactly what Snowy offered. Snowy cleaned her up and kept her safe, and when Gladys was big enough to venture back out into the farmyard, Snowy was there by her side to watch over his special buddy. The once feral cat Snowy, having been offered the warmth and protection of his owners, did the same for another creature who was in need. It really is heartwarming how animals can seem to cross over barriers and look out for each other, even when they seem as though they should be mortal enemies. Are you feeling all warm and fuzzy inside yet? Number 9. Little Kitten Grows Up With Her Golden Retriever Best Friend 
Golden Retrievers are known for their gentle, intelligent temperaments, and that's why this breed is often trained as a guide dog for the blind and have long been considered wonderful family pets as well. So it comes as no real surprise that a big, friendly dog like this would make friends and take care of a smaller and more vulnerable animal. It's just in their lovable nature. The relationship between the tiny rescue kitten named Coda and her big best friend Kilo, the Golden Retriever, is super cute. They even coordinated their furry outfits. When their family brought the tiny teeny kitten home, it was immediately adopted by the dog. They could be found snuggled up together, and the little kitty treating the huge dog like a substitute mama cat. As the kitten would grow, their friendship would also grow. Kilo the Retriever showed all the patience and kindness of an older sibling, as Coda the Kitten would poke and prod and play around. The two continue to play together and seem to genuinely enjoy each other's company, and can often be found cuddling up together for a snooze. Aw, you guys. Number 8. The Tiger Who Adopted a Litter of Piglets well, I'm sorry to put a damper on all the cuteness, but sometimes there's just a dark side to all of these tales. The idea of a tiger adopting a litter of piglets is actually weirdly not really that unusual. Apparently tigers indeed have done exactly that, as well as the other way around. Some tigers have been adopted and suckled by pigs, and it may even be common practice in Thailand, but the piglets don't usually have to dress up as baby tigers. So although this seems a little bit bonkers, it has happened. This particular story has given animal rights activists some concern, though. It had originally been reported that there was a tiger in a California zoo who had taken a litter of piglets into her care after losing her own cubs. But here's the tricky part. It later transpired that someone had been telling porkies. Animal rights activists would discover that the story, along with the images, had actually come from the Sriracha Tiger Zoo in Thailand, a place that has a little bit of a shady reputation for the horrible practice of trading tigers for their body parts. A lucrative enterprise, as tiger parts are very valuable in China, and it looks as though the pictures were probably part of a publicity stunt. It may be cute, and sometimes really does happen, but messing around with animals to stage stuff like this, that's just not cool, especially when there are people neglecting and mistreating animals in the process. Number 7. The Deer and the Dog Again, with all of this poor lost little baby animal stuff, it's sad, though this one does have a happy ending. A little baby deer had been rejected by its mother when a pair of loving dogs came along and decided that the little Bambi was exactly who they were looking for to complete their family. When a pair of David's deer at Nowsley Safari Park in Maryside in the UK gave birth to twins, the startled mother was seemingly taken aback to discover two babies instead of one. She ended up rejecting one of the fawns, and that's when the staff at the park decided to hand rear it themselves. Pear David's deer are actually extinct in the wild, so this one is a little extra precious, being one of only a handful of these beautiful creatures that are still in existence. They named the little deer Milu and introduced him to a couple of friendly but yet quite soppy dogs. Jeffrey, a lurcher, and Kipper, a golden retriever, would immediately take to the poor lost baby and had it in their care making for plenty of cute family photos of the unlikely bunch nuzzling and licking each other as if the fawn was actually a puppy after all. I wonder what the doting doggies will think when their little pup sprouts antlers and then begins stomping about like a wild thing. Number 6. The Hippo and the Tortoise during a devastating tsunami in 2004, a baby hippopotamus would be separated from his family and left all alone in the world. The terrible trauma of the loss of his family and then dangerous operation to rescue him from being stranded on a reef would leave the little creature frightened and exhausted. Now, with a new name, Owen the Hippo was then taken to Holler Park in Kenya. Owen would be released into the nature park and then immediately ran up to a giant 130-year-old tortoise named Mazi. The tortoise, although perhaps a little surprised by the sudden appearance of a hippo, was gentle and kind to the lost creature. The pair could be seen affectionately curled up together, taking daily walks through the park and hanging out at the pond, 
feeding and learning. They would quickly become famous as well, drawing the interest of the world's press and tourists keen to see the tortoise and the hippo who were such great pals. The comfort and security that Mazee offered to Owen was so important during the hippo's time of need. The solid and reassuring presence of such an old-timer gave the young orphaned hippo the confidence to grow and develop. Mazee teaching the hippo about the world along the way. After spending several years in the care of the giant tortoise, the hippopotamus was then able to join other hippos in the park. Number 5. Tinny the Dog and Sniffer the Wild Fox In a Norwegian forest, the unlikely friendship between an Alsatian dog named Tinny and a wild fox known as Sniffer would be born. A photographer, whose name I imagine is pronounced Torger Berge, Tinny's owner, takes the dog for a walk in a forest near their home. Luckily for the photographer, he had his camera at hand to begin documenting what was to become a great relationship. Curious and friendly, the dog and the fox began investigating each other, recognizing something similar yet oh so different. Now they play together in the forest whenever Tinny goes for a walk, the photographer capturing these pals at play, creating a document that really does show how two creatures from different lives, one domestic and one wild, may have a lot more in common than people think. The pictures show the friends playing with a ball, running through the forest in all seasons, and perhaps the fox bringing out the wilder nature of the dog. and in return the dog showing the playful side of the fox. The documentation of these experiences should give everyone a reason to become a campaigner against the fox fur trade in Norway, seeing the true beauty that's often misunderstood about the wild fox and wanting them to be protected. Number 4. A bear, tiger, and lion become friends for life. These three have a wild life. It sounds like the start of a joke, right? A bear, a tiger, and a lion once belonged to a drug baron? But it's actually the truth. The three wild animals were seized in a raid by police in Atlanta, Georgia. They were all very young at the time, and a great deal smaller as well. They would then be taken in at an animal rescue center, who decided to keep them all together, as this was what the three animals knew. They were really a family already. Known at the center as BLT, Bear, Lion, and Tiger, this little unit continued to live together and look out for each other like brothers ever since. Baloo, a 1,000-pound adult American black bear, Shere Khan, a fully grown Bengal tiger weighing at 350 pounds, and Leo the lion, another 350-pound big cat, all lived together, ate together, and played together. in their purpose-built enclosure for 15 years. The bond they shared was never broken, from their crazy beginnings in the cartel to their rescue and new life at Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary. These guys were brothers for life. Number 3. Bubbles the African Elephant and Bella the Black Labrador Size isn't everything, and it sure doesn't seem to trouble this pair of buddies. In fact, you could say it's irrelevant. <laughs> Bubbles the African Elephant and Bella the Black Labrador are the best of friends despite their mammoth size difference. Both animals live at the Myrtle Beach Safari Park in South Carolina and hang out with each other every day. The story of Bubbles, though, is a sad one. She was orphaned when poachers killed both her parents, and then rescued and brought on the epic journey to the United States to begin a new life. A huge pool would be built for Bubbles to play in, and it just so happens that this was also how she would come to meet Bella. The contractor who built the pool abandoned Bella at the park when she was just a puppy. But the little dog wasn't alone for very long. Brought together by their shared love of water, the dog and the elephant began to find ways to play. You can see Bubbles throwing a ball and Bella jumping off Bubbles' back to go catch it. Seems like a perfect match. Who would have ever thought it, though? Number 2. Be the Giraffe and Wilma the Ostrich Did you hear the one about the giraffe and the ostrich in a race? It was neck and neck the whole way. Oh. 
Tampa Bay in Florida is the site of this unlikely friendship, one that has overcome great heights to bring this pair of pals together. Living on the Serengeti Plain Safari, a 65-acre area of Bush Gardens theme park, Bee the Giraffe and Wilma the Ostrich have struck up a beautiful, if even unusual, friendship. Zookeepers would be surprised that the pair seemed to be spending so much time together. After all, they'd had plenty of space to roam around in. So it was as if they were really seeking out each other's company. Giraffes are especially fond of using their long black tongues to explore their surroundings, and that's exactly how Bee the Giraffe expressed her interest and investigated the face of Wilma the Ostrich. Sounds rather intimate, and maybe even a little romantic. If that giraffe tongue thing does it for you, that is. It seems as though it does it for Wilma, and the pair are more or less inseparable, despite their obvious differences. And really, who are we to judge? Number 1. Torque the dog and Shrek the owl. Now we've all heard the saying that a dog is man's best friend and an owl's also. And that's how it goes, right? Well, that's how it is for Torque and Shrek. This rare little long-eared owl would be adopted by the big greyhound when she was just three days old. The odd couple were brought together by the head falconer at the Ringwood Raptor and Reptile Center in the UK. They were introduced slowly at first, while their keeper was feeding the baby owl with marsh rats and quail. Mmm, tasty. Torque the Greyhound would look on protectively. Then gradually, they became more and more comfortable, with Torque taking Shrek into the pack and treating the little owl as if she were his own pup. They can now be found hanging out together at the Raptor Center and at home. The firm friends spend their evenings together watching soap operas, and I can't say much for their choice of entertainment, but at least owls well that ends well for this unlikely animal friendship. It's amazing how so many different animals can seem to see past their differences and get along happily together. Perhaps there's a message that humans could learn from in these incredible stories. What do you think? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.